Okay, and we're back. Uh, this is number five, and we're going to be hitting the city this time. Uh, so I'm still trying to get around the way to get 500 experience by going into Corinis from the harbour. Um, you don't necessarily have to go f um, through the harbour or swim up to see Lares. You just need to get around the gate guards. I could have walked through the gate in a funny way, but I decided to go around this way instead. It's, um, well, it's a bit less, you know, cheating-ish. <laughs> so, I just continue running down here, trying to avoid all the wolves and uh, field raiders, blood flies, and city guard, of course. I don't want to talk to anyone if I can help it. Uh, you really don't want to bump into people if you can help it. Yeah. Uh, so, I'm carrying on, avoid the blood flies on the right of me and the giant rats on the left, and I'm walking up here to gain some um, altitude, which I definitely need if I'm going to come into Corinis and above its walls. Um, there's a bar waiting up for me at the top of the steps. Well, I say steps, it's just tracks upwards. And um, I'm trying to avoid all fights right now because I'm... Well, I've got learning points, but I haven't been able to spend them yet. So I really need to avoid the fights here. So I jump across. I've done this quite a few times, as you might be able to tell. And um, I'm just heading towards this one little bit of a wall where you can climb up. It's quite awkward if you haven't done it already, because there's trees in the way and it's dark. You can hardly see me do it. And I just got attacked by the wild boar there as well, which wasn't good. It almost killed me. And you have to climb up again and then go across here looking for the flat land. If you've done any kind of rock climbing in Gothic 2, you know what I'm talking about, because uh, if, you, if it's too steep, you're going to slide down it. And uh, you can go up some insane... Um, angles and still be running at it full speed. I don't know how that works, but uh, yeah. Anyway, I was going to go down to the harbour, but I figured it'd just be easier to jump into the city like this, over on the wall and then down here, and uh, now I'm above the harbour. Harbour. So I'm just going to go find Lares. Uh, yeah, I considered healing just then, but there's really no need because I'm in the city, nothing's going to attack me as long as I don't walk near someone who wants to brawl. And um, well, I'm going to be sleeping or talking to Vatris. Well, sleeping most likely now because uh, it's dark and I want it to be light. There's Lares. I must be crazy. What are you doing here? Did you swim here? <laughs> That's one way to get past the guards at the city gate. Hey, Lares, you old scoundrel. How did you get here? I was able to escape to the Valley of Mines just in time, together with Lee and some of the other boys. You remember Lee, don't you? Of course I remember Lee. I got out of the colony with him then, just after the barrier was destroyed. He and his boys are now on the farm of Onar, the landowner. He made a deal with the farmer. He and his boys defend the farm, and Onar feeds them in return. Okay, so that's Lara's talk too, and I got my 500 experience. Got to avoid Mo on the left, or else I'll just walk into a fight, which right now I don't have the health for. Because um, if he hits you, it's, uh, yeah, you're, you're boned. So I just got to run straight back up here, and, um, yeah, there's really no need to uh, hide from anyone. No authorities looking out for you. When you're in, you're in. Um, although, I'm going to go back out the gate and uh, swing right around. Give it a save. I don't quite know why. Probably, it's just habit most of the time. I'm always saving, just as a precaution thing. So, um, yeah, I'm going to avoid him for now, because uh, I, I don't even know why I avoided him, because he doesn't do anything if you get it wrong. Anyway, step out, walk up a little bit, and then turn around. I love the turning circle on this guy. And then, uh, yeah. Carl! What is it? You aren't getting in here, my boy. Why not? Looking the way you do, you're sure to cause nothing but trouble here, boy. And we got enough rabble in the city. We have no use for people without money. I'm bringing some herbs for Constantino, the alchemist. Really? Then you won't mind showing me what you brought. Mmm, looks good. Well, all right, in you go. But don't cause any trouble. Understood? Halt, stranger. I am Lothar, paladin of the king and humble servant 
of Innos, your lord. Our commander, Lord Hagen, has entrusted me with the task of explaining to all newcomers the new laws which apply to all inhabitants of the city. Since people have started simply vanishing all over this town, everyone needs to watch out that they don't suffer the same fate. All right. Explain the rules of the city to me. First, the Honorable Paladin Lord Hagen resides in the Upper Quarter, along with his troops. That is why access to the Upper Quarter is allowed only to honorable citizens. Second, the Town Hall in the Upper Quarter is now the command post of the Paladins. Only the Paladins themselves and members of the Militia have access to it. And third... Whoever is accused of a crime must exonerate himself with the commander of the militia. Any questions? Where can I spend the night here? If you're looking for a place to sleep, go to the hotel directly across from the barracks. The paladins pay for the lodging of all travelers who come to the city. The traveling traders from the marketplace are also lodged there. I've got to go. As long as you're in Corinus, you can feel safe. The king's paladins watch over this city now. Ah, low fire's great. Right now I'm going to go ahead and get the leather armor that's in the storeroom. I already know about it. I'm just taking a sidewards walk in here. I know it's a bit cheap, but it gets me in and uh, I don't have to bother with a sleep spell scroll or anything like that. Um, you used to be able to climb over the wall to the, to the side, but I, uh, I already tried that a while ago and it just would not work. Now, in this chest there's just some, um, well, some sausages and <laughs> some lab water bottles and stuff like that. I, I only take them just for the convenience of a thing, and uh, I forgot all about the belt of force, which I actually picked up from Zardas. Just walk right back out, city guards none the wiser, and I can uh, move on. Yeah. I, uh, I'm not going to do too much um, questing or anything inside the city in the first go. I intend to do a lot more hunting, to be honest. I wanted to go and have some fun, get straight into the, uh, the fighting aspects of the game, because uh, that's where, where all the fun is. I mean, the requests are good as well, but I didn't want to fill up loads of videos. Anyway, I think I'm about to talk to Kampfar. But no, he insisted either. Hey, you! I have a proposition for you. What do you want? I want my old stall in the marketplace back. Sarah snatched it away from me. But she has had that spot long enough. I want her to give up the stall. And what's my part in this? I will give you a letter to stick in her pocket. Then you go to Andre and tell him that Sarah is selling weapons to Onar. She lands in prison, you pocket the bounty, and I get the stall. You have two days to accomplish I'm this. What's in it for me? Business. When I have the stall, you will get a then weapon from me. It's and exactly a damned good one. But no, he insists All right, looks like I've got no choice. You're a clever Don't lad. Here is the letter. How am I supposed to force the letter on her? Let her show you her wares. And while she does, you hide the letter on her. And bear in mind, I am an influential man in the city. So don't, don't try to play me for a fool. You listen to the I've got to go. Suit yourself. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. Ah, customer, what can I do for you? I'm looking for a room. Ah, you're in the right place then. One of the paladins told me that I could spend the night here for free. Yes, yes. Just go up the stairs. We still have one or two beds free. Don't tell me you didn't know that. So I thought it just I'm interested. That's not what my husband thinks. As if I didn't have enough problems. But no, he insisted he knew that. Uh, how's business? When the paladins came, I first thought that it was a good business opportunity. But they let Herod make their weapons. And neither Hacka nor I make even one gold piece off them. Moreover, the farmers no longer supply us with food, and all the prices have gone up. It's only a small consolation that the paladins are paying my hotel bill. Show me your wares. I mean, I know Kampfar's a horrible guy, 
and what he's doing is completely wrong, but at the same time I just know how the game plays out if you uh, cross him, because uh, yeah, you have to pay a lot of money and Sarah ends up in jail anyway, you might as well get some money and experience for it. Just gonna sell some her uh, some of the stuff that I just do not need. Um, I mean, I need a bit of gold, obviously, and uh, I don't know why I didn't click it in straight away. Let me see. Yep, there we go. Right, now she has the letter, and I leave her alone, then I turn, turn around and instantly remember I'm here to sleep because it's night time and I am almost dead. There we go, that is so much better. Now I can carry on and everyone's up and where they should be, so uh, yeah. I've never really been much of a uh, lover of the night time. It always seems to me that it, it while I'm out hunting it turns to night and then stays uh, dark for much longer than it stays light. It's just probably my um, horrible perspective. I'm going to talk to Wolfgar. Get myself some training. How's your duty? Oh, these boys swing their swords like farmers. But when I'm done with them, every single one of them will be a tough, hard bastard. Can you also train me in sword fighting? Lord Andre has ordered that we train everyone who is in a position to defend the city. But that's only true for combat training. All other kinds of training are reserved for the militia. Can you at least halfway handle a weapon? I think so. All right. You can start when you're ready. Let's begin with the training. Enos, be with you, stranger. What brings you to me? I've come to collect the bounty for a criminal. Sarah is selling weapons to Onar. Sarah? The weapons merchant in the marketplace? Do you have proof of that? She has a letter in her pocket which details the delivery of arms to him. She won't get away with that. I shall have her arrested. How strange. It seems to me that I have met you before, traveler. Well, great are the mysteries of time and space. Oh, please forgive my rudeness, son of patience. I have not even greeted you yet. Welcome, friend. Take a seat on my humble rugs and enjoy a pipe in peace. Who are you? My name is Abu Jin ibn Jadir ibn Omar Khalid ben Haji al-Sharidi. I am a seer and a prophet, an astrologer and a purveyor of tobacco. Can you make me a prophecy? My services are yours for a modest fee, O oh, father of generosity. How much do you want? For a poultry, twenty-five coins. I shall risk a glance through time for you. But remember, the future is always uncertain. All I can do is glimpse some fragments of time. Tell me about the future. All right, seeker of knowledge. I shall now enter a state of trance. Are you ready? Orcs. They are guarding an entry. An old tunnel, a valley of mines, men in shining armor, a magician. Your friend is with them. He is waiting for you. Fire, an attack, a mighty creature. The flames, many shall die. What is that? A city. Ruins. Quarhodron in Jakandar. He is summoned. 
Quar Hodran in Jarkandar. I'm sorry. The vision is over. There's nothing more I can see. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby in... Now that he'd better difficult. shut up. And don't tell this to anyone. Even worse. Well done. Sarah well, is where she belongs. I have taken over her goods, so, so if you need a worse. weapon, come to me. You were going to give me a weapon. Well, Correct. Terrible, isn't it? Here, this weapon is a masterpiece of the blacksmith's then? art. You can't keep it. I've got to go. Suit yourself. Someone's going to do the worst. worst. That's not hey, right. you! I've seen it with my own eyes. One more thing. Everybody Listen, kid. Now. I've got important things to do right now. We'll like talk again too. later, got it? Everybody Don't tell this to anyone. He had I'm Zurus, Master of Potions. Do you need an essence now of healing or a magic easy. elixir? Then you've come to the right place. He had Everybody knows up. by now. Do you I brew your own potions? Own no, I either get them from the monastery or That's I buy them from Constantino, secret. the alchemist. If you're interested in brewing That's potions, then talk to him. He needs an assistant. Don't tell he this but he's too pig-headed to hire someone himself. He's just as stubborn no, as a mule. Anyone, he always passes me when he goes out on the East Gate to That's collect plants for his potions. And it's not what Where I exactly does Constantino gather his herbs? He always goes through the eastern city gate here, and then disappears into the wilderness to the left. He once told me that just about everything grows there, except for King Sorrel. Has Constantino ever told you where to find King Sorrel? I once heard him say that the stuff grows near stone circles, near Lobart's farm. That's a farm near the other gate. There's one of those stone circles. I think it's on a hill. It used to be a grave or something. That's not what I heard. You don't say. Alright, just talking to Constantino there has popped up a new batch of uh, rare plants. Dragon root, king sorrel, goblin berries. Like all the stuff that he, uh, Constantino asks for to become his apprentice. Which I'll probably be doing because I always like Constantino as my apprentice. Like Show me your wares. Uh, I mean uh, me as Constantino's apprentice. You know, Everybody whatever. Anyway, now. finally I'm heading himself. out of town. I uh, really need to as well, because I just need experience, I need lots of experience, I need to fight lots of monsters, and this is the best way to do it. So I've given it a save, and now it's time to take down some of the blood flies. I obviously want to run past them first, not to draw them towards me. If you draw them towards you, then uh, the guards at the gate will become involved, and if they get the kill, you're not getting the experience. It's one of the big things on this game. I always make sure that I get the uh, kills and the experience. It's different when you're going with Lares, or somebody who's your escort, because they give you the experience when they get the kills, so by all means let them be fighting. But right now, yeah, you want to get all of them yourself. You don't want to let them get a l bunch of kills, because uh, those monsters never regrow. You're off. You're stuck with that. Now picking up uh, some of the new ones that I just spawned by talking to uh, Zerus. There was the dragon root. Um, dark mushrooms, they weren't spawned, but I'll always pick them up. It's another one of those things. I'm just I'm picking up all the plants I can, because they're all useful. And... Um, yeah, I'm gonna need some healing and stuff. I, d I try not to use healing potions unless I really, really need them at this point because they're hard to get in Chapter 1. Well, not hard to get, but just not many of them. I mean, in Chapter 6, I will I won't hesitate, I'll have a pile of, like, hundreds of them. But if you, um, you know, I mean, use them when they, you need them, but if you're going with a mentality that you're just going to use tons of them, then you, you really will, you'll run out of them before you know it. Um, so it, it's a good... You need a balance between stingy and generous with your healing potions. Uh, yeah. So I'm still picking up a bunch of st the stuff. Most likely I'll be giving them over to Constantino to become his apprentice. So I might as well pick them up. There's also King Sorrel that's a lot closer to this place than um, going all the way to Lobart's farm. I'll probably be getting the one at Lobart's farm when I'm up there next because it's kind of out of the way. Uh, anyway, I'm going after the meat bugs and giant rats here. I always kill the meat bugs. It's ten experience. It doesn't doesn't look like much at all, but you know it's ten experience. But you might as well have. 
and like I say, they don't regrow, but you can only get it once, so kill everything. I mean, I kill everything that I'm possible, that I'm able to do, and I never do anything if I can help it. It's like, I'll be walking past the cave with an orc in it for a while, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to kill the orc. So, uh, there's that. I'm getting towards the end of this video now, so, um, yeah, you'll see me hunt down a lot more in Chapter 6. There was a lot of talking in this episode, and this is exactly why I didn't want to do loads and loads of quests, because it would have taken ages. I mean, here's just another two rats.